We can go out. Yeah. All right. I haven't taken the piss out of you. I haven't taken the piss out of you. Well, I just sat around. You could have literally just said that. Enough. You could have just said no, that. You said that to me like an hour ago. Are you ready? Well, I was waiting yeah, for you. I'm afraid you no, it hasn't been. It hasn't been an hour. It's been 20 minutes. Outside in the dark with mm. the cold when there's food in. Not doing it. Well, I'm gonna go out myself yeah, then. Out. I will. Good. Get me my train to get in the car. Well, pay for it yourself, bitch. Okay, so I'm not taking shit from my mum or you. That's what I say. I'm not having it today. Hey everybody, so you just witnessed what seems to be normalized between Maria and Alfaba, right? And it's very telling to me because it just shows the relationship dynamic between them. It isn't even like a friendly back and forth with laughs later. It is completely belligerent. The truth is that when people are screaming and yelling, they're not listening. Therefore, real communication isn't taking place. Do you know what screaming and yelling does to a household? It breeds negativity and people can't express themselves without resorting to yelling and screaming. When your arguments and spats dominate the family routine and dynamic, then it is a huge problem and shows that there are underlying issues and problems that need to be resolved first. Many would say that if there is a narcissist in the family, then that member can and will use screaming and yelling as a normal form of communication. Now, I, I can't say that there is or isn't a narcissist because I don't have that expertise. All I can say is based on, you know, information in books and whatnot, that seems to be a case and pattern. Emotional patterns form in families and raging and screaming is definitely a pattern for sure in some families. I won't say most families. Maybe I could say many families. Uh, these days, a lot of people are very angry or very upset or very unhappy. But even then, learning to effectively communicate is often a pattern that does not form in uh, a healthy way these days is what i will say so instead of communicating in a healthy way people yell and scream and that takes hold instead we all need to do better we all need to understand you know what our shortcomings are and just better ourselves so that this pattern if there is a pattern of yelling and screaming in your household especially in the one between alfaba and maria that it ends as quickly as possible because the yelling and screaming breeds negativity and can be extremely traumatic to a lot of people especially younger people where you are mimicking you are forming a sense of self you are gonna have these things learn these learned patterns that you learn from your family and you're gonna take it out into the world so that is a huge problem if you have a young person in the family and you're doing this overall a family that doesn't get along to the point that there is constant yelling and screaming has a very real problem and between alpha and maria we are witnessing that firsthand